everybody, how are you doing? This is mom cam, and I'm trying this out for the very first time. Yes, I'm driving and I'm making a video. Anyway, I thought I'd say good morning to you all. How are you? God's blessings be with you. I'm on my way to work, and I'm excited about sharing God chaplain and bring God's great news of how much he loves everyone. He loves each and every person so very much. And I get to do that once a week. So I've just been listening to Joyce Meyer this morning. I have a friend who sends me um, YouTube videos and it just reminds me to that there's so much information on YouTube that, um, you know, that we can learn from. And so I've been watching these Joyce Meyer videos and she's just so good. Just, I feel like she's my spiritual mama. And, um, gosh, I just, um, I just think that I would like to do something like that. I just, I, I want to write or speak about what God's doing in my life and what He has done, just like He did with her. I was just watching a, a video about her, and she was talking about how she just was so full of guilt all the time. She, um, she was legalistic and perfectionistic, and she just felt like she always had to live up to a certain standard of law and she really didn't and she's been she's free of that God has made her free free and he's done that in my life too just so amazingly um, I just want to share that so much with people I want them to get free I want to pray with them I want the Holy Spirit to be alive and working in me Day as I go, and so God, I ask you in the name of Jesus, Father, to fill me with your Holy Spirit and cover me, God. Empower me to do your will today, to bring the good news, to have wisdom, to have spiritual understanding about those that I'm, I'm going to speak to, and help me to be sensitive to their needs. Help me to know. What they, what they need as far as spiritual, spiritual help. Help me to get them the resources that they need. Help me to show and be a vessel through which you can just pour out your love on them. I thank you, Jesus, for this opportunity, and I love. How beautiful it is this morning. It's gorgeous. It's summertime. Some, some, summertime. Summertime, summertime. Oh, oh, oh. Anyway. Oh, I'm excited. I love my job. And I just pray that this blesses you today. Oh, anyway. I was praying. So, thank you, Jesus. I guess I should end that prayer. Um, and I just pray that y'all have a blessed day. Please know that God loves you so much. He loves each and every one of us so very much. And He wants the best of us. And we're so much better than we think we are, you know? Um, I had a pastor, Jonathan, that used to say, you're better than you think you are. You're more talented than you think you are. You know, live in that and, and remember that you're God's child. You're His chosen one. And that we have freedom in Christ if we just will surrender to him surrender to his will and just ask him to take control of our lives to heal us of all of our defects of character to take those away from us so that we can serve him better so that we can be more pure He's, and God's done that for me I mean I still have so many things that I am working with God on and, and so many things that I wish I were better at or things I wish I didn't um, 
I didn't do, you know. Um, but I know that God's working on me, and that I, it's okay. I'm in, I'm in, I'm right where He wants me to be. Thank God I'm not where I used. I were, <laughs> thank God I'm not where I used to be. And um, there's just so much freedom in Christ, and and I've learned through a Bible study that my friend teaches that we are righteous in His eyes. We are righteous right now. We take hold of that and um, to realize that He's not mad at us anymore. He has conquered the sin problem for the world. And so we don't need to get hung up and worried and feeling guilty about our sins because if we're saved, if we've asked Jesus into our heart, be our savior to um, he's already died for us and so all we have to do is just accept that and realize that repent obviously and turn away from those sins and seek to be in communion in fellowship with him every day if we do that oh he is so faithful to come into our lives and cleanse us from all unrighteousness and make us a new creation in Christ. I mean, how cool is that? That is so amazing. Gosh, what great news. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory. Ah, glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Thank you, God, for freeing us and for allowing, uh, providing a way for us to to come to the throne of God, the throne of grace. He told us to ask for help in time of trouble. Come boldly to the throne and 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 ask, give, give, uh, per, uh, present our needs, make our needs known to God. <clears throat> and we we ask, we have not because we ask not. And He wants to take care of us. Like just this morning, I didn't know where this shirt was, and I was trying to find it, and I looked in all my places and I, I had finally just said God would you please show me where where this is where my shirt is and boom right there he showed me a lot my eyes laid right on where it was in the pile oh it was cool yeah it was in the pile it wasn't supposed to be it was still clean and uh, man I mean he loves us he cares about us you know how Joyce Meyer talks about he, if we're having a bad hair day, you know, we're standing there fixing our hair, we're like, ah. we can say, God, please help me with this hair. You know, God, I'm feeling so anxious today. I'm feeling guilty, Lord. You know, I didn't do what what you wanted me to do yesterday, or I did some of it, but not all of it. You know, like right now, I'm struggling with my weight. I've I love carbs, and I, but I love vegetables and fruit, and uh, I'm eating a lot of those, and that's great. But there's still this overweight that that I eat out of comfort, trying to get comfort, um, and I have a hard time resisting certain foods. Um, and so I've got this little belly, this paunch belly, and I'm my my clothes are tight and I want to lose like 20 pounds and so you know and, and there's just other things I'm struggling with that I'm asking God to please help me with and so I know that he will because he's done it before in various areas of my life and um, I just want you to be free free of Your, um, the things that are hard in your life and that you're struggling with just keep asking him keep seeking him keep getting in the word and diving into it and finding out um, getting to know him more you know talk to him all day that's what I'm going to try to do today so anyway I better finish this video and get off of here but this is Mom Cam coming at ya. 
I'm here to give you encouragement. That's that's my goal here today. And um, just pray that God blesses you and that this is an encouraging word to you. All right? So go out there and have a great day and live for God. And um, just open yourself up to what He wants for you today. And it just may be cleansing. It may be forgiveness. It may be just that feeling of freedom and peace and serenity. Okay, signing off. Y'all take care. Love ya. God bless you. Bye-bye.